Hey, what's going on YouTube? Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I'm the station where I love looking good and smelling amazing. I'm starting a new installment uh, to this channel every year. I think it's going to help me uh, uh, keep updating uh, content on a more consistent basis. And I think it's also going to do give me an opportunity to review some fragrances that are older that have probably already have a lot of reviews out there already. I'm starting a segment on my channel called My Two Cents Tuesdays. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reviewing fragrances that are more classic fragrances, uh, fragrances that are more well known, that probably already have a lot of reviews out there. Um, I just really got into reviewing fragrances probably within the last year. Well, I've gotten serious about it more so in the last year, year and a half or so. And so, with that being said, there are a lot of fragrances that already have a lot of reviews out there. But I still want to give you my two cents on these fragrances. So that's what I'm going to be doing on Tuesdays. Uh, expect a video every Tuesday uh, where I review a fragrance that is, probably has a lot of reviews out there already. Okay? So, what better way to kick off my two cents Tuesdays than to start with the king himself? I'm talking about none other than Creed Aventus. Now, of course, this fragrance has been reviewed time and time again and talked about time and time again and has probably caused more arguments in the fragrance community only coming in second place probably to uh, issues about Jeremy fragrance. Uh, no hate to Jeremy fragrance. I'm not one of those guys that hates. I don't get into the drama, but there seems to be a, a, oftentimes a lot of controversy surrounding different things concerning Jeremy. But anyway, uh, this fragrance has probably talked about and uh, debated even more than issues with Jeremy. I'm talking about again Creed Aventus. So, not going to come as a surprise. Of course, you guys know the note breakdown on this. It has uh, some of the major notes are uh, ambergris, it has pineapple, it has apple, it has black currant, and it has dry birch. Uh, those are some of the major notes in this fragrance. Uh, it opens up uh, kind of citrusy. You get the some of the apple, but mostly the pineapple uh, with this fragrance. And of course, uh, the heart, the major player, um, as I mentioned before, is the dry bird, so it kind of gives off this smoky uh, nuance. Uh, everything in this fragrance is kind of tied together and amped up uh, with the musk and ambergris on the base of this fragrance. Uh, you get a little bit of the hint of the vanilla on the dry down, but it's a beautiful fragrance. Um, quite naturally, um, it caused a lot of uh, debate uh, for good reason. Uh, a lot of people like this fragrance, and I think the people that most of the people that, that don't like it is not really so much in most cases uh, a fact of not liking the fragrance, but it's more so that it receives so much hype that a lot of times people look for things and, to, and reasons to kind of shoot it down. Uh, in my humble opinion, that's where a lot of the debate comes in. You have people that absolutely love this fragrance and put it up on the pedestal, and then you have people that, of course, uh, gives it um, their uh, criticism, fair share of criticism. So, at the end of the day, uh, not only do I want to talk about a little bit about what it smells like, but I also want to kind of go into, you know, is it worth it for you to buy this fragrance uh, in the year 2019? And my answer to that is, if you are a fragrance collector, I want to say this, uh, I think you should have it in your collection. I will say that it's considered the king of fragrances uh, for good reason. In my humble opinion, it does smell really good. Um, I wouldn't argue with it having that title of the king of fragrances, but that's the thing about fragrances. Things are so subjective. You know, people like uh, different things. Uh, this may not be everybody's cup of tea, and that's okay. But when it came out in 2010, it was of its own kind. Uh, there was nothing like it really out at that time, and that's why it got so much attention, and that's why it garnered so much uh, the love that it did garner. And I think it was it was worthy of it. Uh, is it worth it in 2019? Again, my answer to that is if you are a collector, um, I would recommend if you have the funds to get it to have this in your collection. Now there comes the, the, uh, the talk about clones. And of course you know what my mentality is about clones. This fragrance is often uh, imitated but never been duplicated. There are a lot of close uh, clones out there. Uh, in my opinion, two of the best clones to me are Club Day Nui and Tense Man. And on the uh, the knee side, there's a drop Boise by Mancera. Uh, I like those two fragrances. They definitely give off the same vibe of Creed Aventus, but they are not Creed Aventus. Okay, so 
if you can afford Creed Aventus, I would say it's worth it. If you cannot afford Creed Aventus, I definitely say that the Club de Nuit Intense Man, the, uh, I think it's an Insurrection fragrance, I'm not sure, I haven't really put my nose on that one. Glenn Perry's, uh, I think it's Glenn Perry's Unpredictable Adventure, that's another uh, smokier uh, clone of this. Uh, one you can get for around $25. Uh, you have Mancero to drop Boise, and of course you guys know the list goes on and on. If you can't afford the, a bottle of Aventus, those clones will do the job. The average person cannot tell the difference for the most part. Now there may be some fragrance um, aficionados, some fragrance enthusiasts um, that may be able to tell the difference uh, between the two if they smell it on your skin, but the average person is not going to be able to tell the difference, and that's who we come in contact with more so than not the average guys, As I said, I just wanted to come and give my two cents on Creed Aventus. Stay tuned, of course, and be watching out for next week's video on Tuesday where I will give my two cents of another fragrance, a legend in the fragrance community. Um, thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Now, why would you do that? Because I'm the full time fragrance guy. I love looking good. And I love to smell of me. So until next time, guys, keep looking good and keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.